Aaron Rodgers done it. Is he now in the driver's seat to win a third MVP? Yes, he's in the driver's seat. Oh, man. Patrick Mahomes gave it to him. It's not even like Aaron Rodgers had to earn it this week as much as it was given to him by Patrick Mahomes. We saw the three interceptions by Patrick Mahomes. And I guess the way I can really imagine this is, you ever go to a car show, you know, growing up? Mm -hmm. You're from Texas. You've been in some car, dub car shows. Shout out to dub, what it do. And um, you're on the way to the car show. Now, you're supposed to have your car towed there, you know, and, and indoor towing. You ain't supposed to have it just on the back of some U-Haul hitch wagon or something. You're not supposed to drive it as well. But it seems like yesterday, Patrick Mahomes decided, I'm Patrick Mahomes. I just ride up there to the car show and win the car show. Problem is, on the way to the car show, got scraped up a little bit, got dinged up a little bit. People looking at the car like, oh, that's fresh. That's Patrick Mahomes. Duh. Wait a minute. What's that? What's that? What's that? We saw scrapes on the car <laughs> that we've never seen before or anticipated. He had two picks before yesterday. He had three yesterday in total. Guess what that did to Russell Wilson when he went through his slump of turnovers? Took him out the conversation. Why would Patrick Mahomes be exempt from the same conversation? You look at Aaron Rodgers, it's simple. Aaron Rodgers is looking at a, a year where he's probably going to lead the league in passer rating. You look at him right now having the edge and touchdowns. He has the stats to go up there and say, I am the winner. So it's about numbers and narrative. Ooh, who's going to win that conversation? Because Aaron Rodgers is going to win the numbers category. Who's going to win the narrative, the story, English class? Still Aaron Rodgers. Why? Because I'm the old man that was left cast away. They drafted at my position. Not only did they draft at my position first round, they moved up and used resources we could have used to reload. Instead, they're wasted. All of that, and I still am going out there and having an MVP campaign. By numbers, by narrative, by just simple eye test at the car show, it's Aaron Rodgers. Here's how I'm going to do this argument. I'm going to say that Aaron Rodgers is not in the driver's seat. And I'll do you like this. The, the NFL MVP is the award that I can most closely correlate to the Heisman Trophy, right? The okay. Heisman, the pinnacle of college. NFL MVP, mm -hmm. pinnacle of the NFL. Mm -hmm. it's, the most, it's the closest correlation. I'm like, man. If you are Patrick Mahomes on pace to go 15-1. and one. The only quarterback that can look at his schedule and say, we beat every team on this schedule. There is nobody that beat us. Again, what do I mean? The Raiders beat the Chiefs, but the Chiefs went back and beat the Raiders. Mm, You're the only quarterback that can say that. You'll be the only quarterback on pace to have 5,000 yards. 5,000 yards plus 40 touchdowns plus you beat everybody. There is not a team in the NFL that you did not beat this season. There is no way you can sit here and tell me Aaron Rodgers has a better story, nor is Aaron Rodgers in the driver's seat. Mm. The other reason I will say is this, Marcellus. When we think about Patrick Mahomes' worst games this season, um, we can go back to the Raiders game that they lost, if you want to say that. He still threw for, I believe, 300 yards, two touchdowns. You can say his three-interception game against the Dolphins, again, if you want to say that. Some crazy fluke interceptions and some miraculous plays by the defensive backs. Shout out Xavier Howard. Yes. But you can still say Patrick Mahomes won and Patrick Mahomes threw for 300-plus yards if we were to go to Aaron Rodgers' worst game of the season because that's what you do. Let's compare your best to your best. Let's compare your worst to your worst. Aaron Rodgers against Tampa, two interceptions? Did he lose 38 to, was it 10? Were they a pick six and then a pick all the way down to the two-yard line? Did you get pulled in that game because it was such a blowout? Ooh. Oh, no, no, no. That's, I'm, protection. I'm saying, that's protection. I'm just saying. Blowout. I'm just, it was Pull. a blowout. He got pulled. Ooh, so you if you really you want to say that Aaron Rodgers is in the driver's seat, uh, maybe he is, but Patrick Mahomes is still DJing. Speaking of, let me bring in another guy to bring <laughs> <laughs> to add to this conversation. Oh, that's NFL analyst you Bucky sorry. Brooks. Bucky, sorry. what's up? He's so he cooking. Is Aaron Rodgers now in the driver's seat to win a third MVP? Yeah, so I, I hate to tell you, so earlier today I got a chance to look at the trophy, and when I was looking at the trophy, they've already engraved Aaron Rodgers' oh, name on it. Oh, oh, Aaron oh, Rodgers is the front <laughs> runner. It's, it's, it's over with because, as Marcellus talked about, like there are a couple different ways that you can approach it. You can approach it as, A, how did the player come into the year? How was he viewed? And I think when you look at it, Aaron Rodgers, I mean, they were drafting someone to replace him. He got up off the mat. His team is the number one seed in the NFC. And then when you look at the numbers, 39 touchdowns, only four interceptions, passer rating of 119.7. And then when you think about 
Who is he playing with? Oh. I mean, my guy, Pat Mahomes, is playing with an all-star team. Mm -hmm. I mean, I think I could throw a couple touchdowns <laughs> with Tyreek Hill and Travis Kelsey, mm -hmm. Sammy Watkins, and all those guys. I mean, can we name who Aaron Rodgers is playing with outside of Devontae Adams? No. I'm with Alan you. Lazard, MVS, Robert Tunyon, none of those guys. Those guys that we can get off the corner and play at the park, that's who Aaron Rodgers is doing. So he deserves the MVP, and it's hard for me because I've been very critical of Aaron Rodgers, but I just wanted the best for him. He has responded, and so he should get his third MVP. Gentlemen, I, I like the take, Bucky Brooks, when you want to say, well, Aaron Rodgers is playing with less talented people. I like that take, but then you got to push back, and you got to say, wait a second, has a tight end ever led the National Football League in receiving yards since the merger in 1970? I think uh, not. No, Travis Is Travis Kelsey on pace as a tight end to lead the NFL in receiving yards the first time ever in the history of the NFL? Yes, he is. Is that exclusively because of Travis Kelsey's dominance? As much as I love Travis Kelsey, I would argue it is not. I would argue that Travis Kelsey is a phenomenal player, future Hall of Famer, but Patrick Mahomes is also elevating Travis Kelsey to heights we've never seen a tight end reach in the NFL. Not Tony Gonzalez, not Rob Gronkowski, not Jason Witten, not Shannon Sharp, not no, no, nobody except Travis Kelsey. So again, I understand that take. I understand your position. I like that position. But if Patrick Mahomes is allowing his players to exceed heights we've never Never even seen in NFL history, then that has to count as well. The other thing I must caution both of you gentlemen is this. Who do the Chiefs play this week? Mm -hmm. The Saints in a primetime-esque game is going to be national spotlight. Everybody about to be watching. Don't sit up here and tell me that if Patrick Mahomes goes out here with the whole world watching, likely the, the a Super Bowl preview and has four, five touchdowns, no interceptions. A very likely stat line for Patrick Mahomes, four touchdowns, no interceptions on a national type of stage. Don't sit here and tell me he can't easily open up the door, tell Rodgers, hey, get out. Your boy back in the driver's seat. Don't count Patrick Mahomes out so fast, gentlemen. Man, Acho up here cooking today, and I can start smelling it too. Smell like some old ass meat on the grill because Acho <laughs> is making this stuff crazy. What happened? He just dug himself a hole. He just went down the trail, the path of, hey, you ever seen a tight end play like this? Well, guess what? That's MVP worthy. Nobody wanted it. What's next? A fullback? What, what are you going to talk about now? A special teams performance? It's not about that. Let's keep it about who they are, what they're doing, and I could stay there. Let's talk about a quarterback who's leading the league in passer rating and leading the league in passing touchdowns. When's the last time that happened? I told trivia. Do, do, do. Time's up. Ten years ago, who won the MVP ten years ago? Tom Brady, the last quarterback to do that same feat. And now Aaron Rodgers is going to do it again. But you're going to tell me because a tight end is playing at a historical level, that's going to be the room that you need to win the trophy over Aaron Rodgers? You can't use that as your point. That is a crutch right there. I'm looking at a guy in Aaron Rodgers who's looking at Patrick Mahomes throw three interceptions in one game. And Aaron Rodgers is like, damn, dog, you all right? Because I only thrown four the entire year. You threw three in one game? And I only got four for the entire year. There's no way to make sense of this in story, in narrative, sympathetic figure, or in the numbers. It's Aaron Rodgers' trophy to lose. Just like a week ago, it was Patrick Mahomes' trophy to lose. Yeah, Patrick Mahomes lost the trophy. He lost it with three interceptions. He lost it when I saw him take that 30-yard sack. Whoa. I mean, I don't think an MVP <laughs> does that. He just spinning around and just gives up 30 yards of real estate? No, nah, that's not something that is MVP caliber. And as you talk about Travis Kelsey playing at a level to lead the league, I mean, I think that in itself makes more the argument for Aaron Rodgers. Patrick Mahomes is playing with an all-star cast. This is the same cast that also elevated Alex Smith to Pro Bowl level mm. contention. So, I mean, I, I just don't know how we can sit here and say that Aaron Rodgers won't get it. But I'm glad that you brought up the point about the primetime game and how so many people will define Patrick Mahomes as an MVP as he knocks off the New Orleans Saints because I saw somebody yesterday knock off the Saints. And are we going to call him the new MVP? Mm. I just wonder. Mm. I mean, you know, He's we're tough. playing tic-tac-toe and you kind of boxed yourself in. So yeah, yeah. I Marky. know we're talking about that mm. later, Cat game. He going to say remember, cat game. Just remember. <laughs> You got yourself. You got yourself. Look, we already brought up the three interceptions. We hammered that point down. Come on, man. That ain't MVP worthy. We talked about the 30-yard sack. I, 
I got a few sacks in my day. Not a ton, a few. Uh, 30 yards? What the hell, boy? They would have gave me a new contract on the sidelines. You get 30-yard sacks. But this is when I know Acho is got. This is when I know Acho's in the corner. The flat top is starting to box in. He's stuck. <laughs> you know what? I remember him talking about the safest pass in football is the screen the pass, right? And I watched <laughs> Patrick Mahomes not once. It seemed like twice. The safest passes were those screen passes. How did that turn out, Acho? I saw two interceptions, was it, dare I say, on a screen pass by the MVP? It's not making much sense, Acho.